The following video is produced by University of Vermont Extension. For more information, visit uvm.edu slash extension. The most foolproof way to keep kids from getting injured by heavy machinery is to stop them from using it. But for young people who live or work on farms, not using machinery is not always an option. The two safe ways that I know to start a saw are take the chain guard, put it just above your knees right here. I just started working on the farm that my grandma's been working on for I don't know how many years, a long time. And my boss thought it would be a great idea to send us here so we could learn stuff about safety. A dull chain. Haley Boyce is one of a group of young Vermonters who is learning about on-farm safety at this unusual summer camp. If we know how to drive tractors and we know what the parts, you know, PTO and all that stuff is, that'll help so he can have us do more stuff. It's Youth Farm Safety Camp and the offerings are a far cry from arts and crafts. Our workshop areas include tractor machinery safety, livestock safety, ATV safety, chainsaw safety. We do safety audits and checklists that looks at the entire farm environment. Kristen Mullins works for the University of Vermont Extension's 4-H Youth Farm Safety Project. She doesn't have a seatbelt and she's not under that roll bar, right? So that can be very dangerous. Statistics show that young people working in agriculture are more likely to be injured on the job than youth in other places of employment. We're trying to support employers and parents in creating safe environments, and we're also trying to give young people the skills to look at the environment, assess the risk, and figure out what is going to be a safe decision right now. For many of the campers here, this isn't just useful knowledge to tuck away. It's practical information that they will start using now. I'm going to start actually driving the tractors and using equipment pretty soon. So I really want to know all the dangers and everything and how to avoid the dangers. David Russell works on his family's dairy farm in Orwell. I really want to know how to be safe around the farm and I really want to live my life without any problems, you know, uh, stepping over PTO shafts, destroying your life. Russell hopes that learning about safety now will pay off in the future. I want to actually be able to do things with my life. I'm not entirely sure what, but if I don't have my entire body with me, then I won't be able to be as, as successful as I normally would be. Although campers were not allowed to drive the all-terrain vehicles and tractors, and the chainsaws were modified for safety, all of the topics covered were as hands-on as possible. In order to properly fit an ATV, when you reach out your hands on the handlebars, um, your last knuckle of your finger has to be across all the controls. So if they're not, then the four-wheeler isn't your size. You know, the best ride we say is the ride that you come home from safely. Joe LaRose teaches classes on ATV safety around the state. Although his audience is usually primarily adults, he says there is a growing population of children riding ATVs in Vermont. We see a lot of, of these kids riding on, the, on private property, on family farms, that type of scenario. I use different tractors and all. Um, it's just that I uh, I wanted to learn more and how I can be safer on those vehicles. Clark does not live on a farm, but he does live in the woods, and his family does a lot of wood cutting. Learning about tractors and ATVs was a big draw. I learned about the ROP system for tractors, um, the rollover protection system or structure. It protects your body during a rollover. And I also learned about PTO the power takeoff system, which takes power off the tractor to turn a shaft that powers an implement to um, cut grass or whatever. Only some of the kids here are interested in careers in agriculture, and for them, the information and skills they've learned at camp will be a head start on their future. Those campers that go into other professions will carry with them the problem-solving and practical skills they've learned here, as well as an appreciation for the work that goes into farming. Perhaps even friendships formed at a long ago farm safety camp. If you don't know these things, then you could be reckless and, and try to step over the PTO shaft, but it's only saving a couple of seconds of time. 
sometimes it's really not worth it. You want to make sure that your passenger stays seated at all times. We know that young people are our most important resource because what's more important than our young people? A powerful learning experience designed to help these young Vermonters keep safety in mind. In Burlington, I'm Rebecca Gollin with Across the Fence.